Hi, I'm Alexia Rosari. And I'm Taylor Uritano. And you're watching The W. March 21st, 2017, the FDA updated their page regarding complications with silicone and saline breast implants, which is extremely rare and can affect the cells in the immune system and can be found around the breast implant. The FDA is currently investigating more than 350 reports linking cancer to both silicone and saline breast implants. In 2011, the FDA first raised the possibility of a small but significant risk of developing cancer after getting breast implants. The FDA asked doctors to monitor changes in their patients and for women to check for symptoms such as swelling and redness, fluid buildup, and hardening or a mass surrounding their implants. To date, nine deaths have been reported to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The FDA reports most cases of breast implant-associated ALCL are treated by the removal of the implant and the capsule surrounding the implant, in some cases have been treated by chemotherapy and radiation. So far, most cases of ALCL have been described as slow-growing, which is treatable when it's detected early. Dr. Jeffrey Shuren, director of the FDA Center for Devices, states that the rapid growth of this rare disease is one in five women who receive breast augmentation. Implants will need to have those implants removed within 10 years of having them. Last year, 296,000 women received augmentations, and 90,000 of those have received re reconstructive breast surgery. ...role in the delivery of trauma According and surgical critical care, surgeons. a role that today reached center FDA in the region. The today, as a result of his hard work and dedication, that will continue below to the lower border of that 2017. On any given day, you'll be hard-pressed to find... ...and bariatric surgery programs, which today are considered amongst...